The certification exam is a professional exam. It's the um, Information Technology Specialist Database Test. It is a professional exam and it has to be taken at our professional testing center, which is on the Aero Park campus. Uh, this is not a test you can do online. It has to be proctored and administered by uh, the testing center staff. So you are going to need to either call them or email them and reserve a date and a time. And so these are the days and times that the testing center is open. Okay, so I would do that as soon as possible. Uh, and then you are going to need a Certiport account, um, which I do have you create. Uh, and it's in a different week, but <laughs> it is an assignment to create those accounts. Um, and you are going to need your ID. So don't forget your ID and make sure you know your Certiport username and password because the testing center person is not going to know that. That is something you have to remember. Um, and they, we do allow you to retake the test. So if you don't pass the first time, you can take it in, again. But Certiport has a 24 hour wait period. So if you want the ability to retake the test, you really should try to take it, you know, at the latest, it would be, you know, Wednesday morning. Because if you wait too long, you're not going to have that 24 hours before retakes. Okay? And the 15th is only retakes. Okay, so make sure you schedule that test as early as possible, and that will allow you to do retakes if you need them. And as far as prepping for this test, uh, the objectives are what you should basically use as a study guide. Uh, so when it says identify entities, rows, records, columns, fields, entities are tables, um, that is exactly what they're going to ask you to do. Uh, given a scenario, identify the appropriate primary key. So you're going to need to know what a primary key is and what a composite key is. That's one that has more than one column. You may also know how to, they may also expect you to know how to create a composite key. Okay, uh, given a scenario, choose data types to meet requirements. So you can kind of look through here, but the this should be treated as a study guide because this is exactly what the test is going to cover. It's not going to cover anything that's not on this sheet, okay? So this is exactly what it's going to cover. Now, what I've done to help you is I've given you quick summaries and I have gone through each section in that the objectives and I have put together, you know, materials. So this is that first objective and these are materials that you can study from. So if there is something that you don't know, this would be the place to look that up. And you can also look it up in your book. Okay, so um, these are all study resources. And then I did the same thing for videos. So if you're a person who um, does better by watching a video, I have those as well. Now, in addition to all of that, we also have Gmetrics which is a practice system. It's um, an application that you can download. And I actually created a video kind of showing you how to do that. And um, once you download and install it, then uh, you have to make sure you have an account. And so you're going to have to go to this site and create one. So all you do at this site is create an account. You don't want to do anything else. Um, you download the software, and then there are directions on how to install it, how to start a test, okay, anything you'd probably want to know. Um, and then 
before they really let you do much of anything, you have to redeem this code. So um, when you get into the application, you will be able to redeem your code. And keep in mind that, you know, this is not free software um, and we only have a certain number of codes. So don't share that code with anybody else. Um, we only have a certain number of people that can use that code. Uh, and it's for people in our class. <laughs> so um, this is for you only. Uh, so uh, that is basically how you can prepare for this test. And I would study and prepare for it. Um, my students tend to do quite well, um, but they, they do study, they do review. So again, what I would start with is this exam objectives. And if there is something in there that you aren't 100% sure of, that's what I would look up. Okay. And if you have any questions about the test, let me know. I am very familiar with it. Um, so I, I actually have this certification. So I, I am happy to share what I know with you.